Good day, Governor. Me? My name's Lionel, at your service. I'm waiting for a friend of mine to show up. Is that the vehicle? I think so. That truck looks familiar. I was first brought to this place a couple of months ago, and I've come back here today because they are bringing in one of my dearest lady friends. I don't want her to be frightened, so I came to comfort her. Who am I? Just another member of some cat colony. There's lots, you know. And what is this place? I think you humans call it a veterinary clinic, and they're holding an event they call Spay Day. Here they are, getting all checked in. They give you a special number, paw tag and everything. Now, where's my friend hiding? We used to be more than just friends, you know. There certainly are a lot of my colony mates visiting today. I guess it's time to get weighed in. I won't tell my lady friend that I saw how much she weighs. And there's what you people call her paperwork. In the barn where I live, we have much more interesting uses for paper. Since I'm outside the box, let's see what other kinds of things you bipeds are up to. These two are busy doing the dishes. The doctor's dishes, I suppose. Afternoon, ladies. And now we're in the operating theatre. I'm not so glad to be back in this place, I must say. The doctor's little helpers immobilized me by squashing me into the corner with these unpleasant metal things. And then they stuck something pointy into me bum. I mean, really, I'd have cooperated if they'd have simply asked. Well, I suppose some of my neighbors don't always act as dignified as I do. First, they give us shots for rabies and distemper, then an antibiotic, next some pain medication, and they top it all off with something to treat ear mites and intestinal parasites. What, no sweets in cappuccino? This next part is quite disturbing, actually. Watch it if you want to, but I prefer not to see my neighbors looking so undignified. I did remember to tell my lady friend that once she's not bothered with that in-heat business three times a year, her life will be so much easier. Not to mention how much simpler things will be on Father's Day. That was a little joke for you slower types. Now this is really the most humiliating thing I've ever seen. Thank goodness you knock us out or I'm certain we'd simply die from the shame of it. At least you make some attempt to cover the private parts. The tip, dear? You might think this would be something to add insult to injury. And when I got back to the colony, some of my mates laughed. But to me, it made me feel like I was loved. You know what I'm saying? Of course I am a cat, and therefore deserve to be loved and admired. But that doesn't mean I can't say thank you. And as grateful as we might be for what you've done, we aren't in a hurry to return. So the tip deer informs people that we've already been fixed and they needn't bother us again. Now I must tell you that as upsetting as some of this whole experience was to me, it was at this point that I began to realize why you're all doing what you do here. It's because you non-tailed creatures actually do care what happens to us, colonies of cats whom you've never even met. Of course they always need more help from you vets. So come on in and give them a hand. That's why we're all here, isn't it? Well, finally all the strangeness is finished, and you let us go back to doing something that's really far more natural for us. Napping. When we're busy with the doctor, our cages have been cleaned up nice and tidy, just in case one of us was an uneasy traveler. Our private suite is covered up again, they have this special little room in the building that is dark and very quiet, where we can wake up slowly when that awful medication wears off. Since I was brought in here, things just aren't quite like they used to be. Not that it's bad, mind you. I was more of a lover than a fighter, but there is always plenty of both when you're living the fear of life. Oh, I see that the chauffeur has arrived to transport everyone back to their farm. Hey, a bit of a smile won't kill you, will it? 
and please make sure you don't forget anyone. You'd think things would be finished by now, and we could all go our merry little ways. But not until you've carried out even more of your ridiculous paperwork. What's the point of it? If I wasted this much time, I'd never get to clean myself. I think I'd best meet up with the rest of my colony mates for the journey back to the farmyard. Excuse me, driver. Can I trouble you for a lift as well? Hitchhiking can be so dangerous. Ah, how nice it is to be back outside again, where I don't have to put up with all those strange smells and walking around on sheets of plastic. Cheerio! Hey, wait up! 